the Haven. Oh yeah! because I get to review the uh, Mocha Porter by Steve Ogden, the Heathen Brewer. Um, a Mocha Porter, a 7.1%. Uh, uh, IBUs, uh, 26.1. Uh, do not drink until April. Well, that's two days away, so not that far. Um, uh, but I'm not leaving it to them. I did check with Steve. He said it was okay. So, um, let's get cracked into it. Hiss first. See what we got. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, yeah, good hiss. Are we getting any cannon smoke? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we are. Look at that. Fabulous. Oh, yeah. Getting some good aromas there. Oh, very much. It's coffee. Lots of coffee. Brilliant. Let's get her in. She's been in the fridge for a while. I have had it out for, um, well, quite a while now actually, because uh, I'm doing this a little bit later than I uh, had originally attended. But uh, it's only a small glass, there's some left in there. Um, I will try and pour the rest in, but absolutely. Oh, it's so, it smells just so rich. Oh, it's lots of, lots of coffee, obviously. But it's just a real rich sort of, sort of like darky, dark sort of smell. Oh, it's fantastic. Let's see, it's kind of a, I mean it is obviously dark, um, I'm looking through, I mean let's see what I'll do is I'll get the old quickie camera on, or uh, not quickie camera, a close up camera, right, camera, video, let's switch that around, there you go, right, so let's get her put there, alright, Oops, video, sorry. There we go. Alright, so if we start that, and let's see what you can see. It's a bit, this isn't the best. Um, right. You're not going to see much through there because it's dark. I'm just about to show you how gorgeously dark it is. Look at that. Beautiful. There's nothing coming through there at all. Nothing. It's absolutely dark as. Right. So a gorgeous colour. That's my point. So, cheers Steve. Let's get cracked into it. Oh, straight away, when you start tasting it, it's just the velvetness, the texture is amazing. It's... Mm. It's not sort of water, it's almost sort of creamy when you start drinking it. It's absolutely. Oh, it's gorgeous. What a fantastic mouthfeel. Absolutely superb. There's carbonation there. I mean, you can see there's not much in the way of a, a head on it. But I don't think, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a massive porter drinker, I've got to say. I've recent, only recently got into sort of drinking some of the darker beers, your porters, your black IPAs, your stouts and things. To me, stout was always Guinness, and I'm not a particularly massive Guinness fan. I always find it, get, find it a bit bland, a bit sort of meh, you know. 
um, but how wrong I was, I found out recently. Sort of some of the other stouts in particular are out there, absolutely fabulous. Um, not having drunk a hell of a lot of porters, I must admit. Um, I brewed my own black IPA, which some of you may have seen videos of, um, and that it's nice. It's coming out well, but it's uh, it's got a slightly metallic taste. This is absolutely. I mean, it's obviously, like I said, it's a very, very coffee taste. It's ever so slightly dry. Um, I don't know. He may have done a video on it. I'm not sure if he has, actually. Um, did you do a video on it, Steve? So I don't know what you've used um, insofar as sort of hops and your, your grain bill and stuff like that in here. But whatever it was, mate. Absolutely fantastic. You can see it's bloody late. It's a lot later than I intended to do, so it's now about quarter quarter to eleven. Um, you may have heard some coughing upstairs. Um, had some sort of uh, issues with the kids recently, and uh, we've got two very sick um, uh, twins at the moment, so we're kind of going through it. So I've just stolen a moment to come down and, and try the beer and do the review. Um, always want to try and give the beer what it deserves and I think most of them you know certainly getting beers off of Steve um, he's been brewing for years absolutely you know what Steve seems to Steve doesn't know about brewing being worth knowing really and um, and these this is just absolutely superb I've only had one other of Steve's I've had his um, Pilsner his Pilsner Urquell um, clone which was amazing so beautiful and malty this is completely different Absolutely, mate, it's superb, absolutely lovely. Well, Steve, it's not the longest review, and it's probably not the most in-depth one you've ever seen. I should have checked out your video beforehand and had a little bit more of an idea of what's been put in here, but whatever it is, mate, absolutely superb. It's not something you really want to quaff down too quickly, I've got to say. It's 7.1%, you kind of put it in the glass and you kind of savour it, I think. Um, but it is absolutely one, it's amazing. Well, I'm gonna carry on finishing this off. Um, uh, and it's, it's Wednesday, it says uh, the 29th. I'm not gonna say happy hungry Wednesday because I might actually, while I've been going editing these videos, it'll probably be next Wednesday by the time I get it up. But, um, Anyway, um, Steve, yourself, enjoy your evening. Um, everyone else out there, enjoy the rest of your evenings whenever, whenever you're watching this. Um, and, uh, you know, cheers. Um, with a homebrew, with this, there's only one way to sign out a beer from the Heathen Brewer. And that's when you have to rock on. You put the beer in the coconut and drink it all up. You put the beer in the coconut and throw the can away.